Welcome. In today's video, I'll finally be unboxing the Nebra Indoor Miner, setting it up, accessing the dashboard, and showing you how you can start earning KGNT. I'll leave any relevant links in the description below. At a glance, the Miner packaging is sealed with a Nebra sticker. Once you break the seal and open the box, you are provided with the following items. The classy looking all black Miner unit, a 12 volt power supply which includes four worldwide plug adapters, an ethernet cable if you do not require to use Wi-Fi, a 3 dbi antenna, and some additional Nebra stickers. Taking a closer look at the back of the miner, there is a fixed 9 to 16 volt power port, an LED indicator, the lower light will turn on when the miner is connected to a power supply, and the top light will turn on when the miner is ready to link up to the Helium hotspot application. A Bluetooth button that slightly sticks out so it can be easily pressed when linking the miner to your hotspot app. The low roll port is where you will connect your antenna, and finally, an Ethernet port which can be used if you want a more stable internet connection. If you are looking to upgrade your antenna to potentially increase your HNT rewards, it is super important to understand which type of connecting cable is required. The Nebra Indoor Miner has an RP-SMA female connector, so it requires a cable with an RP-SMA male port to feed into the back of the unit. For more information on the Miner specs, I have provided a link in the description below. The initial step is to connect the antenna to the Miner. Nebra highly recommends to ensure the antenna is connected first before switching the miner on, as it might damage the unit. Once connected, plug in the power port and you will see the bottom LED light turn yellow. Wait for approximately 2-3 to three minutes and the top LED light will start flashing green. The first step will require you to download the hotspot application from the Apple or Google Play Store. Once downloaded, select create an account and then generate my 12 words. It is really important to note your 12 words down in sequence, as if you are locked out of your account, there is no other way to claim your HNT without your 12 phrase key. Select I have written these down, and then the app will prompt you to enter three of your keywords. Once done, set a PIN code which will be used to access your Helium application. The next step is to add the miner to the network. Select on hotspots and click on add. Scroll down and choose Nebra Indoor Hotspot. The app will provide you a range of placement tips. Do have a quick read through these to ensure that you achieve the best results possible. Then select I've read the guide. The diagnostic screen will pop up to state that Nebra only has access to the data on your hotspot. Then select I understand. Ensure your miner is powered up by checking the bottom LED light on the back of the miner is yellow. And then select I'm powered up. Then press and hold the Bluetooth button on the back of the unit for 10 seconds until the top LED flashes green. Then in the app, scan for my hotspot and select the unit. If you're using an Ethernet cable, ensure it is plugged in. In this case, I am using Wi-Fi. You will now require to set the hotspot location. Allow the app to gain access to your location and move the white pin and overlay it on top of the blue pin, and then set location. In some cases, the pin might not overlay directly on top. However, this is not something to worry about. If you are intending to use the 3 dBi stock antenna, ensure the TX RX gain is 3.0 dBi. And depending where you place the miner, define how high it is off the ground in meters. If you are in a skyrise building, set the height from the ground floor. This info is provided to ensure that the information on the blockchain is as accurate as possible. The location fee for this miner has been prepaid. However, if you do require to shift the location once it has been set up, there is a fee of approximately $10 in HNT. So do take this into consideration. Select register hotspot and the loading screen will appear. There is no confirmation screen after this, so to check the miner has been set up correctly, you can go back into the app and under the arrows tab, you should see the hotspot name and a pending notification besides it. The miner will now sync to the blockchain and this can take up to 72 hours. Once synced, you are ready to earn HNT. If you require to access the Nebra dashboard, you can visit dashboard.nebra.com. You will require to create an account and once set up, you can log into the main screen. To add the device to the dashboard, you can either allow the platform to have access to your camera and then you can hold your device so it scans the QR code. In my case, I manually inputted the RPI and ETH number located on the back of the miner. Once you have access, you are provided with user-friendly infographics that allow you to monitor the status of your device and the earnings. I will be documenting the process and upgrading the antenna if required in line with POC V11. So do stay tuned for the results. If you found this content informative, please do give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.